here we are. We've arrived at the theatre. We're performing at Haywood Street Studios, also known as the home of Harvest Rain Theatre Company. Come on. Guys, I'm backstage here at Gemma Rix's album launch for her new album called Gravity, and I'm really excited to be helping her out tonight by joining her for her duets. While she's in town, I thought it'd be a cool idea if I got in touch with her and said, Hey, can I pull you aside for five minutes and ask you if you've got any stage door stories? And she agreed. So I'm gonna go and set up my camera right now, and when I come back, hopefully, we'll be able to get the answers to some of the questions that we have. You ready? Ready? All right. Hey guys, we're here at the Brisbane launch of Gemma Rix's new album called Gravity. Uh, we're doing a show tonight called like Gravity Unplugged. Mm. So it's just us uh, for a couple of duets and then Gem's going to absolutely blow people away. Um, just her and a guitar. Yeah. Tonight. So it's a bit yeah. of a different... Stripped back. Gravity stripped back. <laughs> Gravity stripped back. Bit of a different side um, to what you'll get on the album, but there's some of the great songs that, that you've recorded on there. Um, so I thought it'd be fun just before the show tonight, you know, before we're getting, getting dressed and getting ready to go on, uh, to do a few rapid fire questions for Gemma. Um, and I've got them written down here. First one is favorite show. Ooh, well, probably, well, Wicked has to of course be my favorite, which I know is a very boring answer, but it was the one that impacted me the most, um, as just a, an audience member and then obviously professionally as a character. Yeah. Um, and it's still so powerful to this day and, and getting the response from everybody, they have that same feeling that I still have about that show. So definitely Wicked. Um, I really love Waitress as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. I think Amazing that's a really, score. really, really good because I'm a massive fan of Sarah Bareilles. So um, yeah, yeah. Excellent. And you toured for quite a long time with Wicked. How yeah. How long was it? Seven years. Seven years. And you ended up doing part of the show in Japan? Yeah, so I first, that was sort of my first um, step into the character back yeah. in 06. And that wasn't entirely in English, was it? No, so I had to learn Japanese. Right. Yes. Was it songs or dialogue that was in Japanese? So most of the um, songs were in English. There was a few words that we randomly had to speak in, sing in Japanese, but um, all the dialogue was Japanese. Wow, how would you go learning that? It was hard. I had to learn it sort of like that uh, repetition yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, cool. um, and, then, and then once I'd learnt that, then I then had a, um, a teacher who then worked on the intonation because they're very tonal with how oh, they wow. speak. So, That's a hard language. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but I think I did okay. The Glinders were Japanese. Right. So they would tell us if we said things because there's rotating casts. Ah, oh, okay. Um, yeah, and so they would tell us if we did said things bad. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right, moving on to number two. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. Favorite role, whether uh, one that you've played or would like to play. Um. um well, obviously. Uh, well, I guess playing Molly and Ghost was really challenging. Um, so, and that was something that I knew it was going to be heavy going into it because. It's about, you know, the partner, losing a partner. and mm. But I didn't realise how difficult that was going to be, you know, tapping into that eight shows a week. Yeah. Um, so that was probably the most challenging role for me right. um, in, in that sense of emotionally going into it. Whereas when I was playing Elphaba, she's so empowering and you that's contagious. Mm. And so you feel like even if you're having a bad day or you feel tired or whatever it is, and you'd turn up and you'd sing The Wizard and I and... Um, you know, obviously define gravity or even no good deed if you're in a mad mood. Like it really kind of just, it made you feel good, yeah. you know, whereas Molly was like, even though the music was so beautiful, it was really, really quite heavy. Mm. Um, so, but yeah, I guess it's the same sort of thing, you know, the character of Jenna in Waitress, mm. you know, that would be absolutely awesome. But I have not seen the show. I've just got the soundtrack. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, I haven't been lucky enough to see the show no. yet, but maybe one day soon. <laughs> um, got a funny stage door story. This channel is all about stage door stories and we throw in a performance or two along the way, but I've got the opportunity here to see uh, someone who's been to plenty of stage doors. What have you got in store for us for a stage door story? Um, I remember a gentleman uh, wanting to do As Long As Your Mind together. And so... <laughs> Little stage door stories yeah, duet. Yeah, yeah excellent. Yeah. So he sang a little bit with me, and um, oh, so you sang with him? Yeah. Oh and wow! Then, and then proceeded to do the choreography, you know, with a um, 
I can't remember the words now, but you know, with a see, oh, that's it. See how bright we shine. You know? <laughs> and anyway, there's a photo on on the on the web. On the web, the interweb. I think I have to try my best to find that photo. <laughs> that is brilliant. Why gravity? You're launching this new album. Um, it's incredibly exciting to see the song list that you've brought out. Um, obviously, we have the connection with Wicked, but why why choose gravity? Yeah, I think that I wanted there to be that connection with Wicked because seven years of my life was playing that mm. character. So she has been part of, of me. Yeah. Uh, but then also, I just feel like gravity is, it's, a, it's the, you know, strong force, you yeah. know? And, and I like that too, because I'm doing this independently. So it's, it's a very scary and hopefully brave um, thing that I'm doing. So yeah. I, I liked that using that word because of, of that strength, that pull, that, you know, all encompassing gravity. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I just wanted it to be strong and yeah, I think it's got a cool ring to it too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Final question. What next? What's coming up next for Gemma Ricks? Apart from launching your album, doing all these amazing, exciting things, what next for you uh, in your performance journey? Uh, the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Yes. So I am going to be green again. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to play the Wicked Witch of the West Excellent. in the Wizard of Oz, which I'm actually really excited about because she's a very evil character, and um, the song that she sings, "Red Shoes Blues," is quite intense. Um, and I'm going to have a lot of fun in rehearsals, yeah. finding that you know that really evil, crazy person, mm. and I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So like a, a similar shade of green, I guess, but completely different, all in the same. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, well, we're really excited for you. And when does that kick off? Uh, October we start rehearsals, and then Excellent. we're in Brizzy first. Brisbane first. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Yep. In November. Excellent. So. Opening Q Pack in November. Well, thanks so much for your time, Gemma. Thank You're you. You're an absolute gem, <laughs> um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you defy gravity out there tonight. Thanks Thank so you. much. Hey guys, I have to talk quietly because Gemma is already out there. You can hear her in the background, already slaying. I'm so excited to get out there and have the opportunity to sing with her. Oh, there they go. All the clapping. All right, I'm on soon, guys. This is where I have to leave you. Thanks for tuning in again to Stage Door Stories, and we'll see you next time. Oh,